Hello everybody, this is Carol from Friendly Quail. I'm going to be working on Boho Purple today. Thanks for being with me. If you're a subscriber, thanks for coming back. If you're not a subscriber yet, I hope you will be. Uh, this is my second purple journal. The first one I did, I called Grungy Purple. This one's Boho Purple. And I did put a video up recently of what I have done so far. And today I'm going to do a little work on it. Um, these are the things I was cutting from for the tabs and that type of thing. And I pulled a few very thin ones out to make some pockets. And I decided with this, I'm going to do some kind of closure that wraps around the... Um, the journal and it I'm gonna use these I'm gonna make like kind of like a, a snippet maybe all this wide but you know pieces of these we'll see I'm gonna fool around with it so I'll get rid of this for right now I did do a little work on some. I pulled some things uh, in here. These were from my my stash. I gotta get rid of that light. Okay, these were from my stash that I'm gonna use in here. So those are ready. And then I worked on a few other ones. This one um, is like a little ta tag, journal card, backed with coffee dyed paper. This one um, a friend had given me. I backed it with um, coffee dyed paper. And I did change it up a little bit, and I put her on. She had this down here. I pulled it up because it was just like a an applique sticky. So I put that up there, and I and uh, stitched around it. This was flopping over, so it's a little bit better now. Okay, and then I did this. I pulled this from my stash. I added this. Um, this was just fussy cut uh, from a, a book and um, I put it on a little envelope and then I made this little card to go in it uh oh they're mowing the lawn I hope they don't come right by my house uh, and I made that to go in there so I got a little pocket now there's a couple things I'm gonna do today and I pulled this out of my stash. This is that eco dyed with alcohol ink, homemade alcohol ink. And I'm going to decorate that. And then I cut fussy cut a little a little uh, person, like the whole person off out and put wings on the back. And I'm going to emboss this. And this, this was, I found at an antique store, some notebooks. They were like from a farmer and um, from 1910. And I, this cover, I think I need to put a little bit more tape on there. It was kind of falling apart, but this is in Czech. This is Czech. So Bohemian, Bohemia became part of Czechoslovakia after World War I. So I thought, that's perfect. Um, and I took some of the papers out and made a little notebook out of it. And I, you know, these are some original, uh, papers that were in some of the things I got. Look at that. That is so cool. And so there's writing room in here. 
but there's I'm gonna stitch that together with a um, oh, so perfect. Like I said, my husband's family uh, didn't speak English. He didn't, not at all. I mean, they did, but he he spoke Bohemian till um, he went to school. So I'm going to put a little more tape on that, and then I'm going to do like a, a three-hole pamphlet stitch to put that together. So that is what I'm going to do today. All right, so this, I'm going to do this first. I kind of cut out some things, and I may, had made this, this little, um, it's on a straw, and you wrap fabric around it. And I had made some of these a while ago. And I thought that was very fitting for this. So then I, I, put, I put it on a, a wire and uh, so I could dangle it. Okay, now let's see. First thing I need to do with this is distress. So my husband is on a bike ride. Hopefully he'll be gone till I'm done. <laughs> Otherwise he's going to come in and start talking. Usually he, he takes a long time because he always stops and talks to people. And that is good for me. Because <laughs> then he's not talking to me. He just like, I'm not a morning person. And he'll start talking, 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 talking. And it's like, oh, don't you ever shut up. I've even said that to him. He knows. He thinks it's funny. So I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, telling tales out of, t out of time. He knows. He knows. Okay. Let's see. So, it's been really gloomy and wet here. It's been raining. We got quite a lot of rain, which we really needed. And, um... So that's why they're mowing the lawn today, I guess. They would have done it Tuesday, but it was raining. But we really did need the rain. Now this is going to be a pocket, as well as opening up for journaling space. I think I want to put a little bit of stuff on here. This. Okay. I think I need to cut uh, a little little thumb oh, it's not a thumbnail and no opening and a little ah my words just aren't coming lately like I couldn't remember end papers the other day oh So this will end up being glued in as a pocket, and then it'll open up for journaling space. Now this is what I think I'm going to do. I cut some things out. I 
thought what I would do is glue her on here like this and not glue the back. So I'm going to do this. Put a little pencil mark. Where's my pencil? Okay. Okay. So that I don't go beyond that with the glue. Dress that up. All right. Should have marked where I wanted to put it. farther. How did that happen? Okay. Because this needs to fit up here. And let's see. This I'll have to use grabber tack. isn't too bad. I had this upside down before when I put it on. Need the glitz for the boho one. Okay, I was holding that too close to me probably for you to even see what I was doing. Fabric tack yet for for this. This is the front. Put the fabric tack on the back. Cut this out of one of the pieces, the big pieces that I was showing you yesterday or the other day. This more toward the edge. There we go. So we got a pocket and journaling space. I like that. I made this during my 12 days of pockets. That's a year ago already. Holy mackerel. Okay. Now, I need to grab... something here. Because I am going to emboss. <laughs> Let me peel the glue off my fingers. 
this little lady. Grab my heat gun. Plug it in, which I should have done before. Okay. All right. Now, I have this dauber here. I've got clear emboss, it's a thick. touched it and I got some of it off so I gotta do it again. Okay, I'll just set this aside for now. And I hope this works. I have this vision. and blowing some of it off. Maybe I'll turn it higher. Melted, so ooh, the wings are hot. Just gonna move this aside to dry, and next will be the little notebook. I think I'll put that little embossed. She'll be on a pocket or a tag or something. Okay. Now. I need some more full tape. Because I, I was out. So the other day I made a bunch more. I've got. I'm going to put this on here. straightened out. Some of these were from a different book. I had a number of these books. Okay. Okay. 
So not, not all the pages are exactly the same size, I guess is what I'm saying. But pretty close. Uh, they were all little notebooks that someone kept track of their farm stuff on. Uh, let's see here. I had my... I had my little all. Well, maybe I'll just use a needle. Okay, now I'm going to... Actually, should put this on the cover as well. Got it evened out. Oh, here comes my husband. And I'm just going to eyeball it. Making a video, Rich. What? I'm making a video. Okay. Let's see. What do I want to use this? Maybe if I get a little, a little grunged up. See, here's my haul right there. I knew I had it. You were probably screaming at me. It's right there, Carol. Right in front of your face. Okay. Nice and grunged up. Because even though it's boho purple, I'm still grunging it up a bit. Okay, now. I wonder if I can get that through here. I will see. Oh, yeah. Just have to figure out how to get it through without splitting it all apart. There we go. I think I'll tie it on the outside, so... where the hole is. Right there. Alright. We'll go down to here. I wanted to end up on the outside, so how am I doing that? Oh, okay. I see what I did wrong. I have to go all the way up here. So used to doing five hole man with a stitch for a um what do you call it the 
hollow back spine that I'm forgetting how to do it. Okay, so now I've got that one in the middle and I'm going to tie over it. it in. Now, I think I'll just kind of cut it off. Maybe someone repaired it. Yeah, yeah, I did. But, you know, maybe someone back then repaired it. Okay. So this is what we did today. Still dying. And we'll be back next time when I work again. So thanks for being with me today. Love you guys. Bye.